This is the Slaves Master. I had a request yesterday on Instagram to do a one-on bench press. This is one of the exercises I come up with back in the uh, late 80s. I guess it was late 80s, early 90s. But anyway, I did a video on all of that. But anyway, uh, just look under James P. Justice, 1993, and you'll see the, uh, the repping uh, exercises. and It's called repping and double bar exercises. But uh, I also did the single bar exercises. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate the uh, single bar bench press. So we're going to put your hand in the center, take it to the side. We're going to bench press. We're going to start with the bar first. Probably do about three or four reps. Okay. That's going to put on, then I'll turn off the camera. Then I'll put on a little more weight. Then I'll get back with you and I'll show you how to do a little more weight. Okay. Uh, it would be nice if anybody that wanted to take my repping exercises, my double bar exercises, and my single bar exercises, and if you wanted to make a competition out of it, that'd be great. Uh, that would be mostly um, for bodybuilders and, and, and powerlifters and, power, and, and strongmen exercises that they pop that somebody want to enter and do the competition. The Justice Super Savings. And it's just a 7 and just a 714 is mostly for, well, I guess anybody can enter the contest if they had a contest of the just a 7s, but it would be mostly like for people in CrossFit, you know what I'm saying? But it's for everybody because it is for strength and to put on size and muscle tone and endurance. So I'm going to turn off the camera, I'm going to go out in the garage, and we're going to do the single bar bench press. Oh, before we go outside to do the one-on bench press, I want to let people know that if you want me to wear your shirts that has your advertisement on it, just uh, contact me on james.justice172 at gmail.com. J-A-M-E-S dot J-U-S-T-I-C-E 172 at gmail.com. If you want me to represent your products on my meal videos, uh, just Get me on my email address where we can talk. And of course, I wore Garfield today because uh, mom's cat had babies. Uh, I was up with it earlier this morning, kind of helping it out. And you can also find that on uh, James P. Justice 1993 on Instagram. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let me get my other shirt on. We'll go out and we'll do the video. You know, <clears throat> this is Ledge Master again. Uh, the shirt I was using, and my, at the first part of this video, it came out of my t shirt collection. I got a big t shirt collection. And, uh, and I try to let people know why we advertise for you. But anyway, we're going to do the one arm bench press, and uh, we're going to start with the bar. Remember, this is not for beginners. Okay, and for people that's coming out of the beginner's level into an immediate and off a professional level. Uh, if a beginner does try it, don't try it with a 45-pound bar. That's what this bar here is, a 45. Start with a standard bar. But do your basic exercises first. Learn your basic exercises for at least a year and a half or so that anybody who's at the end of the uh, second year and two years long, you can do the double bar, the single bar stuff. Uh, in uh, the repping exercises, okay. We're going to demonstrate it. We're going to start with the bar first. I'm going to do three or four. You're not you're trying to keep the video from being too long. What we're going to do, we're going to grab the middle of the bar with the grid. You see a grid here, a few inches long. When you grab the center of the bar, try to get it bounced before you start to press it. Okay? That means my hand's got to come over just a little bit. There you go. And so what you want to do is lift it with both hands. You want to hold on to the fork of the bench. Breathe in. And come down. The deal is, the idea is to try to bounce the bar. 
I can have my elbow out or elbow in. I'm going to set it down. You can take the other hand, guide it over, and set it down. Do the same thing with the other hand. Grab the fork to the bar or the, or the bench and come down. And hit it right where you nobody would hit your chest when you're doing regular bench press. Remember, see how I'm trying to balance the bar. Okay, we're gonna put a little more weight on it. And it's been a while since I've done this now, so I'm gonna go up just a little bit. And again, I'll give you another idea of what it feels like with a little heavier weight. Okay, well, we're gonna just do some uh, light weight today, okay? I'm back. I got myself all wrapped up. Remember, wrap your elbows when you're doing this. And remember, like I said in my one of my videos before this one here, uh, when you work, whatever work muscle that you're working out, concentrate on that muscle that you're working out. Okay, this is going to take a lot of concentration when you're doing one arm at a time. This works to, if I knew the right side, which I'm going to be doing the right side this time, with the uh, chest, shoulders, and my right tricep. And when, you think, when you're doing it, think about those muscles. Think about just those muscles. Clear your mind. Okay, clear your mind and think about just the muscles you're going to be working. This is 95 pounds, and we're going to do it with right hand. Then uh, I may up the weight and see how this one goes. The last time I've done this exercise, I was doing 175 pounds in each arm. That was about two years ago. What you want to do is get your hand centered, make sure it's balanced, bring it out up over your chest. Now, if you have to, you can hold this here just to make sure. You understand? And come up and press. Or you can hold to the bench. Get up over. I'm going my left arm. Try to get it centered, do it right. I'm going to guide the bar down with my right hand and push. I keep hitting my fork that bench. There you go. Now, the reason I did that was to show you that you can use one hand to guide it down for safety. And if you don't need to, grab the fork of the bench. That's the reason I did it both ways. One was for safety, okay, where well, you can hold the fork for the bench. The more weight you go up, the more you're going to hold on to that bench. Okay, we're going to take it up to a tad more. Hey, I'm back. Getting ready to do another set. I've got 115 pounds on here. And uh, I may do it for one arm, may do it for two, I don't know yet. I'm running out of time trying to keep my minutes low on these videos. Okay. And anybody who's just joining in today, welcome to the Slash Master exercise videos. <sighs> Remember, grab the bar. At the center. Try to balance it. Make sure you got it balanced before you start pressing it. And you got to balance it. Make sure it don't twist on you. Here we go. Take it up. This time I'm going to lose a little safety and keep my hand in place, but my left arm is pressing. I'm going to turn the video off, and I'm going to take up to 135 pounds, and I'm going to just do it one arm this time because 
My minutes are running low. Okay, we're back. Got my elbows wrapped back up. Always remember between sets, always drink your water. You gotta keep water because your muscles are 75% water. Your body is 75% water. Okay, we're gonna just do one arm this time because I'm running out of time. Uh, because on Instagram, I always have to split my videos up. YouTube, I don't have to. It's 135 pounds. Make sure you got it balanced before you start pressing it. Here we go. And we're going to press it. And for safety. There you go. I got him up. There you go. That's the reason I said this exercise is for begin it's for an immediate and professional level. Because your arm can give out anytime. But always try to keep the other arm uh, for backup. Okay, that's one of the safety issues we have on this. Now always remember, when you're benching, don't put your collars on the end of your bar, especially if you're benching by yourself. Beginners and immediate professional level people, keep the bar, keep the clamps off the bars, collars or clamps. But when you're working out by yourself, you can let the weight slide off. Okay, because I seen a video the other day, somebody who'd been, that looked like he'd been doing it for five or six years, had 400 some pounds, and it come down on his neck. It almost got him, but he got out of it though. So whatever you do, keep the collars off your bar when you're working out by yourself. Always try to have a workout partner if you possibly can. All right, and uh, love everybody, take care, and uh, keep watching my videos. This is Slits Master Weightlifting Exercise videos. All right, bye.